Hello everybody, it's Beard Boy LG here and welcome back to another episode of the Micro Survival Let's Play. It has been a little bit since we've been on this world. I have been working on modded content, trying to boost that up on the channel. And I've been enjoying it. Really have been enjoying it. It's been helping me get inspired to start projects here on the main Let's Play series. The main thing that I've been thinking while thinking of the survival series for the past about week and a half is that I kind of feel like I'm rushing the game which is not what I'm trying to do I want to build stuff I want to have fun in this world and feel like I've achieved if you know what I mean but in terms of building projects like creative building projects I've not really done too much besides the starter base and like some of the designs for my stuff over here like my enchanting cave and my ender portal so I've been thinking on trying to change that and working on a big project today this is something that's been I've been waiting on doing for quite a while and today we are starting the village transformation project so the basis of what this project is gonna be is that we're gonna put a moss block down it'll also explain why I have the bone block here in just a moment so we place the bone block <coughs> excuse me we place the moss block down we turn all these bone blocks into bone meal and we go in bone meal all around the area so I don't intend on working on this part of the project today that's gonna come in another project is warping these or making them look a little nicer I'll probably keep the actual buildings for the most part but add stuff to it because like some stuff we gotta, we gotta keep our two blacksmiths so the main thing is really just trying to transform it this idea it's based off the one that the Neo Cubist did in one of his hardcore series where he placed down the moss block and I just really loved it so there's a couple things I want to do with that I think we'll do a couple of custom trees uh, maybe even do like a w I might even use the warped because that could like stand out but I'm gonna start over here because we got all this area we're gonna place you down how much is this oh <laughs> that's a that's a lot that is a ton now what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna expand it out try to get it around as much as possible because this is one of the big projects that I've been wanting to do this is this is one of the huge projects because this is step one doing this then we have the foliage and just uh, what is the word the look of the air so excluding the buildings adding stuff like custom rocks custom benches stuff like that that's what I'm trying to work on in today's episode and this is gonna take me a little bit because we also have to tear all of these tall grass down and it's it's ugly but I'm gonna get this started this is gonna take me a little bit so <laughs> This will probably want to be the longest episodes to record. So I would appreciate if you uh, if you guys would subscribe. I'm not forcing it. You don't need to. But this is a, a really big project. Uh, probably the biggest project so far of this series. And I know it's going to take me a while. Because we have so much we got a bone meal. And then we have all the extra stuff with it. So I would appreciate if you guys could subscribe. It would really help the channel out. But uh, let's do a little time lapse of this, shall we?
Okay, I have returned from the time lapse, and uh, it took me three times to record the time lapse because two straight times the time lapse corrupted. So not all of it was uh, I was able to show. Uh, it would have been about 30 minutes worth, and I'm not happy that it's all gone. But right now, it currently looks ugly. You know what we're going to do to fix that? Water it down. Because we only want this right now. Because we're going to add everything else back when we get back to this point. For right now, i got to destroy everything that's here. And just keep what I want and get rid of what I don't want because a lot of this is just awful and we're gonna do this with water because water is the easiest to really get done with this plus we're gonna have so much of it just collapse on each other and like this is the part where it's really good when it's able to spread like this this will also let us see where we're at overall on the ground because like most of the ground's done I'd say we have some spots where we could go in uh, bone meal or we could keep it there is a chance I keep it mainly because of how it would be a little bit of texture you know so I might keep it we just gotta see where we're at at that point but we're gonna get a lot of these uh, a lot of these uh, azaleas, because we want these. Same thing with the moss blocks. I'm fine with keeping them. Here is fine. Here, because it's kind of like a bushy hill. I'm fine with that. That has to leave. Those can leave. Yeah, for some spots, I'm going to keep them. But others, I am not. And there's a lot of spots where it is not. Like we got right here. This is This is ugly. So I'm just going to work my magic, get all of this basically torn down. And I'll be back, if this would ever work. Come on. Really? Okay, some of them we have to manually tear down. Fine, Minecraft. Okay, I've cleaned it up a little bit. Now we're going to do a little bit of this. Oh. Well, that was unfortunate luck. That's not what we were going for. We were ho I was hoping it would go a different direction, but... Hopefully that despawns. Come on. Well, at least mine it enough so it starts there. Yeah. I, I didn't want it like that. But apparently Minecraft just wanted to mess with me today. Oh, come on. <laughs> At least we can just mine parts of it off, you know? Like this. Come on. There we go. <laughs> it messes that up, but we can fix it later. So we have a lot of azaleas to really just start planting down everywhere. I do want it to be, come on, there we go. I want trees. This is what I'm trying to do. I want a lot of trees, like this. I I'm fine with having a lot of trees, because it just makes this area look a lot more alive. And, like, look at this. This is already looking a lot better. Now, I am going to go find a bed to steal, because I am not going to go and fight skellies this late. Good night. Okay, I have returned. We've got all of these azalea trees and azalea bushes all over the place. And I think this is making it look so much better. This is looking so much better than it was before. And there's even some areas where we can probably still add a little. And I'm fine with them connecting because to me that's kind of cool. I like it when trees kind of look like they're all together. It makes it look like it's kind of hidden. And I'm really liking the look. Now there's some spots that we need to cover up. Good thing we have a lot of carpet. <laughs> spots like that if needed. 
but for the most part it's looking better there's obviously some problems like eventually we're gonna come and fix this entire walkway area because it's still not good like you shouldn't have a light post right in the middle of the area and that's currently the situation we're in but this is part one this project's gonna be a couple episodes ahead in terms of being completed and I am really liking this entire build so far. So now we're going to the last part. And that's really just working on... We shouldn't need you on me. Uh, just working on making custom rocks, custom little areas, stuff like that. Just to make it look a little better. Because everything like this is going to look better when you have, like custom spots to make it just pop out because these are going to pop out having these little spots where rocks are coming out of I think just makes the area look nicer it gives a little more detail but this is basically what I'm going to do it shouldn't take me too long it shouldn't take me too long Especially since we can easily just insta mine up some of this product. Besides that. But we have a lot of material that we can use for this. We really do. And I do like doing so like rocks are kind of the most fun kind of block that I, I know for detail. It's something that I think I'm really good at doing. I can do a decent random design in each area and usually I can come up with some fun stuff but just from stuff like this it just makes the area look better this looks like it's more alive than where it was before and I really like it I really like it there is someone here I will find him, and he shall die. So we'll do, let's say, a boulder like that. Just doing random boulders. They, it'll always look good in the end, right? Ooh, my hand's getting numb. <laughs> but I'm going to find a couple more spots where we can put some, like, let's say, right here could be a good boulder. Yeah. To me, like, I like seeing these random things over the place, because it just makes it look more alive. Any more spots? Uh, we can put one, like, right here. Or actually... There has to be something underneath us. But... We can always turn this... We're gonna have to do a little bit of custom stuff over here, but... If we cut this off, we can make like a mini pond right here. If there's any building advice I can give out, I'd say, yes, have a plan when you're trying to do builds. Because when you're having a plan, like a, a plan like over time, weeks wise, it usually helps more when you're doing that. But also let your mind just roam around creatively you know what I mean so like I knew I was gonna work on this project I knew what I wanted to do with the trees with the boulders uh, and with the bushes everywhere but I didn't think of adding a little bit of a pond area and this is what I say when I when I say just go creative sometimes if you think something's gonna work just do it because in the end if you believe it'll work you can sure make it work. It's Minecraft. It's not your it's not your craft, it's Minecraft. So when you're the person playing the game, it's your world. Or in your case, it would be your mind. If you, if you, if you get what I'm if you get what I'm spieling here. It looks like we're almost done. Shouldn't take too much more. Basically, that's my basic advice. If you're having trouble coming, uh, like thinking that you need to copy everybody on YouTube, 
You don't need to. You don't really need to copy people. Just be yourself. Because in the end, that usually works better. I think... I think we can get a decent little thing here. So let's... Throw those down. Put a little flowers around the spot. Make this a little bit of an oasis pond in the middle of the village. Maybe the villagers come here to detox from their work days. Because they're obviously hard workers. Ooh, you come here. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you saying you're not? Oh, yeah, you're definitely not a worker. Look at you. Man, this guy's just living off income, isn't he? He gave me the death player. Okay. And look at that. Makes it look a little bit more pretty. A little bit more detail. It always helps. We don't need that there. And I think this would be a perfect spot for these. Bring those up. Put a couple. And these work better... Uh, these work really good for rocks. I'd say they're the best you can use for a kind of like rock that's not the size of like a pebble. Like using buttons. Those are really good if you're going specifically for the for that kind of pebble shape. But for a rock or boulder, I'd say these are actually really good at, for what you want. Oh, besides that, that's always a problem. But for the most part, you can find spots where they'll work. Once again, no, not all the time. But they should usually just be pretty good. So, yeah. Okay, I think I won't mess with over here too much. But for the most part, we've done a lot of progress on this... On this village. This is the village project. This is the village recreation project. And for part one, for the most part, we should be complete. Because we got our trees, which is one of the things I wanted to do. I wanted to put bushes around, make it a little more alive, put rocks around. And it's looking really good for the most part. The only problem is the sand everywhere. It makes it look so ugly because it's connected a little bit to a desert so we're gonna have to fix this in a different episode but for the most part this is coming up really well it's looking so much better so let's see it from afar maybe ooh, we have some must block where we can just build ourselves up how's this look <laughs> You can barely tell the village, like, you can see, obviously, some of the village stuff, but it is just covered in trees. And I love that. I I like the overgrown, kind of living in the forest kind of look anyway. And it kind of matches what we're going with here. And I think it looks good. This ain't going to be a good thumbnail, though. Trust me, I'm going to have to go over here to where these are and take the thumbnail. So, what would be the best thumbnail area? Right here? Maybe? Let's zoom her in. Uh, maybe right there. Is this... I can't tell what the right spot is going to be for this thumbnail. You guys get to see these thumbnails sometimes, and sometimes they're really difficult to pose. I think... I think this might be one of the better spots for the pose. So if we move you over, if you could work with me here. Like, move over here. Yeah, that's fine. What? What? Excuse me? You had some of them moves, sir! Oh, he's going again! My lord. 
What about over here? I think here might be a decent thumbnail pose. Because you get... You get... You get your spot here. And you get the look everywhere else. I think that's good. And in terms of the time... Oop. In terms of the timing, this is going to have to be it for today's episode. This episode was really fun. I really liked building this. I really loved getting back to this world. And we still have more projects. We still have to defeat the Ender Dragon. Like, that is still on the agenda here. I'm just spacing out a little longer. So we can have some fun. Because I need to have some fun. <laughs> I've been Beer Boy OG. I'll see you guys next time.